In a few years, these medical students will be the first graduates of newly built Debre Birhan University. Two hours' drive from the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa, Debre Birhan is one of 23 new universities that have been built in Ethiopia since 2007. This young doctor was happy to be able to attend a university in his hometown. So I'm just around this town, so I, I need to be near to my family, and that would be very nice to me to, to, cho to choose a, a first place, this university. Ethiopia's government set itself an ambitious goal to double the number of university graduates within five years. The scheme was funded mainly with money from its own coffers. But a question remains, are the students really getting a good education? As a medical student, we have some gaps right in the laboratory equipment and books at the very beginning. But when it comes year to year, it's it's very, very in advance, and the gaps are filled time by time. Lectures in Deborah Birhan began in 2007, when many of the buildings were still under construction. Eight years later, they're finished. Those signs indicate that some areas are already in need of repair. In addition to inadequate buildings, there's a shortage of trained teaching staff. Only 8% of the lecturers have their doctorates, Many of them are receiving further training, but their average age is under 30. They lack experience to pass on to the students. The dean of the medical faculty says Ethiopia simply doesn't have enough academics. He himself is only 28 years old. There is a lack of... Uh... Uh, specialists, adequate number of specialists in, at country level, especially. And the other thing, uh, as a result of uh, infrastructure and the lack of uh, teaching hospitals, so that the uh, specialists were not uh, interested to be an instructor in the Brown University. With the help of five-year plans and government investment, Ethiopia wants to become a middle-income country by 2025. But for that, it needs more trained, skilled workers. The education minister says that in future, industry, not farming, must be the linchpin of the economy. When we reach at least to lower middle income country, uh, the industry will, will be leading the economy. At least it will start leading the economy. By then, more number of science graduates are required than the more number of social science graduates. 1.3 billion euros, a quarter of the entire budget, is being invested in higher education. Ethiopia, a not donor countries, is providing most of the money. Its politicians say it's an investment in the future. Most of the donors are focusing on basic education. But for the country like ours and other developing countries, the focus on tertiary education is also very important if the country has to develop. Despite that, the country's opposition says the money isn't being invested properly. Bayane Petros is leader of the opposition, and he himself taught at the University of Addis Ababa for 40 years. He sees major problems in Ethiopia's education system. From the outside, it looks like, you know, rather a very responsible kind of thing to do. But this is West Asia. This country cannot afford West the limited resources in the name of expanding, which is politically driven, populist. Petra says constructing universities is not an investment in the future, but more than anything, a job creation scheme to satisfy the remote, unstable provinces. My proposal would be consolidation, that is to add quality into these institutions. And we have to create some centers of excellence. Okay? Not every so-called university should open every aspect of education. Youth unemployment in Ethiopia lies at an estimated 50%, so it's questionable whether a growing number of university graduates can find work. But the government is optimistic. It believes the education initiative will soon create growth and jobs.